freeze again. And now, say we've gotten this move a couple times on the person, the person knows you're good. I pop this, I get my cross face, and now instead they know that I'm coming here, so they're fighting hard into me. So Jalen's gonna fight hard in, he turns in, and I'm gonna pull this cross face all the way to me and grab it with this other hand. You see that? And what is his hand? You see how they're locked? They call this one a bar boy or a butcher. And once I got this locked, my weight is still on him. I'm gonna slowly circle to get some points. You get a finish if you're strong. Usually, uh, the way I show it is most people they start with this because most people are gonna stop. Most people are gonna stop this. Which then, if he stops this, it sets up the cradle that we just went over. That's how we learned in the past. Hit that barbed wire. And then so you're fight. Oh, you're saying go. Like, if you he just do fight a hard first. for the barbed wire, if you fight hard for the barbed wire, like just fight hard and oh, fight. I, I get what Coach is saying. So Coach is saying you teach the barbed wire first, then when they start blocking this, you go and Yeah, and then you, that's, yeah, that's just how we kind of do it. Honestly, sense. barbed wire can be an easy, those are easy transition moves. Yeah, so you could see. Like you said, the key word is transition. If you start with a barb wire, transition is easier to a cradle, but you can still go cradle to barb, and there's more than one way to eat a Reese's. That's why it's good to have more minds around. And when you see him doing it, he's not driving, he's doing it again, he's circling. He's circling the phone, it's not him driving. Yeah, that it's a pressure and toes. So what's the first step? I gotta capture what? His arm. Cross phase. V block, push it up. He knows this is coming, so he fights in. My weight stays on and this arm goes underneath. Comes from here, slide it so they can touch. Now you see he's already almost going. I'm going to keep my weight on him. Slowly go. And, and real quick, I want you to get that barbed wire. And he's about to go, I want you to fight the blank. Don't go, don't go, Jalen. No, like start over, start over. Right here. Now, I want you to go flat, Jalen. Like he has it, but you're not going. Now the next step is, is you start circling. Don't go, Jalen. Keep circling. Keep a circle if you're trying to get him though, but he's not going to go. Now here's what, this is going to be a tough way to do it. He won't go, he's going to take his knee, he's going to put it in the back of his neck, he's going to pull him over his knee. No, no, that's in front. Put it, no, put it behind his neck and pull him over your knee. <laughs> now he did it nice as a coach and I appreciate that, but you're in a match and you need something, you put it in the back of the neck, it's a wedge, and you pull it over and you drop it. I know you never did that. That's a perler trick. It felt good. Alfie, he went, oh! Every time I you hear that, that means it was more of a Woo! surprise than a hurt. Like, yeah, it's not really, not really I'm putting his neck and hitting him, it's I'm like wedging him over. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I'll just ask. We need to see this again. We're ready to try out the butcher. One more time. Right, right, butcher. Love it. <laughs> hey, watch your mouth. You killed your person. But yes, that's correct. We'll go the other way. So if I'm on this side, which arm am I going to cross face? Your leg. Yep. Push, cross face. He knows it's there, he fights in. Slide and pull. Take my time. Go to the corner where he comes here. Fight it, this is when he's belly. Yeah, he won't go with the back. He starts all the way on the side. Pull yes. Pull over that knee. Yeah, he's going like a leg. He's thinking about it, he's not going, and you're just, here's your leg, and you push your knee here, so he can't stop, and you just pull him over. So eventually, he's back here, you just pull him over his back. Let's try it out. One, two.